Hello guys, welcome. I'm Sim UK. A bit of a surprise to hear from me, but today I do have a review for Cricket 19, which has finally arrived on Steam. And as you probably know, Cricket 19 has been available on both the PlayStation and Xbox for quite a while now. Why was the Steam release delayed? I don't know. Was it a marketing ploy to coincide the console release with the World Cup and the PC release with the Ashes? Or were there some significant issues with the game that needed resolving? I know which one my money is on. Regardless, Cricket 19 is Big Ant Studios' latest rendition of their amalgamated cricket series. The most recent of which was the Ashes Cricket Edition, which was released in 2017. With that game came a whole host of new features and graphical improvements, and I'm glad to say that Cricket 19 delivers a bundle of even better, newer features too. Bold, beaten, all ends up. It is evident that Cricket 19 has improved upon its graphics, most notably with the created players. Only Australia and England are fully licensed, but with the impressive and superbly talented modding community already fully behind this game, even better character modelling will be available soon. Big Ant even highlight the fact that the modding community are the best place to get even more realistic character representations. So then, what is new this time around? I have to say, it is an impressive collection, and in all honesty, the blurb on Steam really does not do this game enough justice. On Steam, the key features include Deep Player, Stadium, Logo and Scenario Creators. This is nothing new, but I'm sure they've enhanced features or parts of it. Full support for T20, ODI and Test Match, real world AI, tactics and dozens of teams to choose between. So on Steam at least, it doesn't sound that impressive, but there is more. Nice and tidy in that over, no runs added. Scenarios is a new feature that I am really enjoying. And it is perfect, not only for those who want to challenge, but also for players new to the game who just want to practice. There are scenarios from Big Ant, and there also appears to be a community-led scenario editor too, which could make for some interesting challenges. Perhaps you want to follow in Sir Gary Sober's footsteps and hit six for six, or perhaps you want to be the first person in the world to bowl four for four. The game now promotes first-person view as well, a really nice inclusion for people like me who would love to be out there playing for real. But in all honesty, I just, I just don't have the time to commit to this year's Ashes, so Cricket 19 will have to suffice for now. Big shout for that one. I am glad to say that whilst Big Ant have really focused on getting new players into the game as quickly and effortlessly as possible, they have also managed to retain the complexity and difficulty of the originals. I was a little bit concerned about the simplistic control options they added in Ashes Cricket, but I needn't have worried because this is both truly complex and pick up and play with tutorials and simplified controller options, not to mention the very impressive customization controls available for difficulty, which in my humble opinion is on a par with Super Mega Baseball 2. And, as previously mentioned, there are the scenarios, which can get you swinging to your heart's content. Yeah! He's beaten all ends up by that. The entire presentation has been amped up, and whilst this looks smooth on console, on my PC at least, 
This is stuttery and frustrating. I'm sure this is something that can and will be fixed and addressed soon because I am hitting well over 150 FPS with ease and clearly that is not the issue here. The new presentations and cutscenes do actually do a lot to induce immersion and that is further amplified with the brilliant facial modelling of the players. And to further enhance the presentation improvements, Cricket19 has also introduced highlights which are much appreciated and of course they have released this game on all platforms including Switch which is pretty darn epic. Didn't need a practice shot, smashes it for six straight away. In addition to all of this good stuff, the five approved test grounds of the Ashes series have been recreated and the AI have had a few improvements. But I will put that particular improvement under advisement for now. Hopefully though, this will enhance the career mode. One area which has always disappointed me is the fielding. It has changed, arguably it is better, but in my humble opinion this is Cricket 19's biggest letdown, as it is in every Big Ant Cricket game. The animations are often jagged and the throwing animation is especially odd, with short throws arcing way up into the air unnecessarily. Movement is still laggy, it feels imprecise and often calamitous, though I do commend Big Ant for at least making an effort. He's played that nicely, gets two. At some point they have also introduced the catching mechanic, which I absolutely hate. The idea is that you get the Big Ant logo into the massive circle and press A in order to make the catch. Personally, I would have preferred a circle that needs to be moved in order to surround the ball and the size of the circle denotes the chosen player's catching ability. But that's just me. Bit expensive in that one. One issue that has unfortunately remained is the game crashing. So far I'm averaging one crash for every 10 hours played, but Big Ant this is simply not good enough. I am thinking this must be a memory leak, but despite my years of programming experience, there is no way I can be certain of what the precise issue is. But Big Ant, you must look into this. Yeah. Little too eager in that delivery, no ball. Finally, 39.99 is not cheap, but for once, I do actually feel like the game offers enough to justify this higher price tag. So overall, the game is very good. There are a few bugs that I haven't mentioned, but these are just release day bugs, I believe, and hopefully they'll be fixed. Big Ant are pretty good at listening to the community, and hopefully reviews like this will help them to highlight what the big issues are. Honestly, this is the best cricket game I have played, and I'm really enjoying playing it. It's tough, it's challenging, it's realistic, and it's immersive. What more could you ask for a cricket game? Thanks for watching, take care. Remember, hit that like button, and I'll see you maybe in the future. Goodbye for now. Bowler beating them all ends up there. Yes. Ah, what a good shot. 